Is it possible for a mu'min, for a believer to have riya in every single action that they do? Is it possible for a believer, think about this question guys, is it possible for a believer to show off in every single one of their acts of worship? Is that possible for the believer? Meaning everything you do, you're never sincere? Is that possible for a mu'min, for a believer? Not for a believer. Why? Because if he does it, what is he going to be? He's going to be a munafiq, right? A munafiq is somebody who only worships Allah outwardly. That's a hypocrite. When Allah refers to the munafiqun, the hypocrites in the Quran, it refers to those who don't believe in Allah on the inside, and all the, you know, whatever they, they do is to show people. Meaning when they're by themselves, they don't believe in Allah, so they're not going to worship Allah. But any person that has iman is at, at least going to have some deeds that are sincere, because he believes in Allah. So it is not conceivable, it's not possible for a believer to show off in every single one of his acts of worship. It, it just, it's impossible. There has to be something. Why? Because he's a believer. But this is only possible for the munafiq, for the hypocrite, because that's what a hypocrite is. He just does all of his deeds just to show the people, but he doesn't really believe on the inside. Okay, so this is not possible. Okay, second scenario of showing off is when you start the act of worship, like before you start the act of worship, your main intention is to not do it for Allah's sake. Or you wanna do it for Allah's sake, but you wanna do it for the sake of the people as well. It's a fundraiser, and the, you know, they're, they're, they're raising funds. All right, $10,000, you look around you, you see you know, all of your friends, you see people that you wanna impress. Right? Again, there's a girl that you wanna get married, and you know, her father is there, and you say, I'm gonna do the 10,000. And the imam, he makes an extra dua for you. You feel so special and so nice, right? But the reason why you raise your hand, the reason why you want to give the sadaqah is because you want to show off. Is this deed going to be accepted by Allah? Absolutely not, right? In fact, it's going to be a major sin. It's going to be a form of shirk for that matter. Third scenario, I'll give you an example. Let's say you're in the masjid alone. You start the salah sincerely for Allah's sake. But then you hear some people walking in, then you make your back straight. You lengthen your sujood. You were reciting Quran, it was like really fast, but now are you slow down. You want people to, you know, to, to think that, mashallah, this is a Quran reciter. What's going to happen to the act of worship in this scenario? You didn't start the act of worship showing off, but in the middle of the act of worship, then your intention changed, and you weren't doing it just for Allah anymore. You're doing it for the people as well. What's the status of this deed? Is it accepted or not? It is not accepted. So whether you start the action or whether the intention comes in the middle of the action is still going to be rejected. Okay, uh, what if you fight the intent, uh, that inclination though? For example, like in the example of salah, you're standing up, you're praying salah, people come in the masjid, you can hear voices, you can hear footsteps, right? And you have a, like a feeling to show off, but then you don't accept that feeling, you fight against it. Is your action accepted or not? Yes, it is accepted. That's what you're supposed to do. As Allah Azza wa He says, "وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا Those who strive for our sake, we will guide them to our ways. You have to strive against yourself. This is something good. This is what you should do. Okay, next question. Or this is the fourth scenario. What if you already did the act of worship, but then you're showing off after that? You prayed Qiyamul Layl, you prayed by yourself in your room in the dark, nobody was there, but then later on, you, you know, telling people about it. Is that going to invalidate your deeds? Okay, those who say no, raise your hand if you say no. Why do you say no? Because in the moment you were sincere, very good. There are some scholars who say that it's going to invalidate your deed, but there are other scholars that say no, it's not going to invalidate your deed. Why? Because when you did it, you were sincere. But showing off later on is like a separate... It's like a separate crime. It's a separate sin that you're committing. Because Allah even mentions that in the Quran, right? In Surah Al-Baqarah. Ya ayyuhu al-ladhina amanu, la tubatidu sadaqatikum bil manni wal adha. O you who have believed, do not nullify your charity by reminding people of your favor to them and by harming the people. Right? There's a hadith, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa he says, Man samma'a, samma'a Allahu bihi, wa man yura'i, yura'i lahu bihi. The Messenger of Allah, he says, whoever wants people to hear about him, then Allah will make the people hear about his faults. And whoever does things to show the people to show off, then Allah will show the people his faults. So when you want the people to hear about your deeds, it's not the same as showing off, but it is a separate sin. It is a separate sin, because now it's like you're trying to, you know, 
you know, at that moment is going to be showing off. But the deed that you've done before, it may not necessarily be affected. Sadaqah is like a specific case of like reminding people, reminding the people who you gave charity to, you remind them of your charity that, that you gave them. So it's not, it's not necessarily going to invalidate what you've done because you might have like memorized Quran years ago when you were a kid and you did it sincerely for Allah's sake. But then later on, you, you, you start to love status and reputation. So you tell people you're a hafil, you tell people that you've done this and that you've done that, right? So it's not necessarily going to invalidate all of the work that you did before, but this is like a separate sin. You want reputation. And the Messenger of Allah, he speaks about both in the hadith that we just mentioned.